To use a collet, begin by cleaning both the lathe spindle bore as well as the adapter. Then mount the tapered adapter in the spindle bore. Next, insert the draw tube through the spindle from the rear of the headstock. Once that's finished, locate the key or pin in the collet adapter. Then clean both the collet and adapter, align the slot in the collet with the key, and insert the collet into the adapter. Next, thread the draw tube onto the collet, stopping when there's about one-eighth of an inch of collet movement in the adapter. Insert the workpiece into the collet and tighten the draw tube to secure the piece. To remove the work, loosen the draw tube about one to two turns. If the work doesn't release, tap the end of the draw tube and release the tapers on the collet and the adapter. Keep in mind that a hole in an emergency collet can be machined using a three-pin insert. After machining, remove the three pins, insert the work, and tighten the draw tube to clamp it in place. A step collet can be used to hold work with diameters larger than standard collets. And like emergency collets, some step collets are machinable as well. Another common type of collet is called an expanding collet. As the name suggests, the stem of this collet expands when the draw tube is tightened to grip a workpiece with an existing inside diameter. Most are machinable, so they can be easily customized to match the desired size. The last type of collet we're going to look at is a flex collet. It usually has a range of about an eighth of an inch and is used with a collet chuck. To mount the collet, remove the retaining cap by turning the chuck key counterclockwise. Next, insert the flex collet in the chuck and then replace the cap by turning the key clockwise. Once the cap has been set back in position, place the workpiece inside the collet and tighten the chuck with the key to secure it. To remove the work, simply loosen the chuck with the key.